All right, hey Sagittarius. So I'm doing a singles read for you guys. And you're gonna know this is your read by the energy I pull. So if you don't resonate with the energy that I pull, you are gonna wanna check your moon rising and Venus placements. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope you guys will stick around, show some love, subscribe. This is a 30 to 60 day intention read. So I'm gonna pull an Oracle card. <clears throat> just to see if there's a message that needs to come through all right release your worries and receive universal abundance and that does constitute love also so i'm going to start with your energy All right, your energy, Sag. Look at that. Three of Wands and the Priestess. So <clears throat> I feel you're very connected to yourself right now in this moment in time. You um, heightened intuition, psychic. Um, abilities maybe um, this is somebody who takes time and devotes time to self-care this is divine feminine energy um, this right here is <clears throat> the embodiment of love self-love all right and with the three of wands um, you know I don't feel like you're necessarily waiting for your person to arrive I do feel like you are waiting for ships to come in that you know have a big ticket item on there which is the win when it comes to love all right with the three of wands um, it could be that you are meeting this person at a distance just as a side note um, but your energy really is just saying that you're in a winning um, type of energy right now uh, when it comes to yourself you're not expecting anything but the best all right um, if somebody comes at me they better be a winner um, because you've done transformed your energy you feel good about yourself you feel good about life you feel good about love so I'm going to pull the energy of the person that's coming towards you. The energy of the person coming towards you. Okay, so they've been through a lot. The Five of Wands. This is somebody who is... This is not a, a Wounded Warrior card, but this is somebody who's been through a lot of trials and tribulations. Okay. But I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this with a tower card. This is transformation. So the person coming in, whether it's an old person or somebody new, they've been through a lot, and whatever they've been through has been a catalyst for positive transformation in their energy. All right, it could be that this person's a Scorpio, but they've been through a lot of battles, but they're prevailing. All right, the tower card is actually a very positive card. This card is a is positive transformation. It is sudden change, but it's for the better. So even if you don't know this person, um, this is somebody that's gone through a huge transformation, and I feel like it's to align the energy with you. So I'm going to pull the energy of the relationship when it comes together. Look at that. There's going to be no more juggling. Like without a doubt, you guys are going to know this is it. Okay. I feel like this is being aligned. No more going back and forth. Um, I feel like you're not going to even have to hesitate when this energy comes through. Um, you're just going to know. I, I feel like it, it's going to be complete balance. No juggling. All right. I do feel with the full card coming out, this is new energy. Um, but ultimately, we have the Ten of Cups coming out for the feel of the relationship. So this is the the entirety of the um, the the situation, the relationship. All right, the connection when you guys come together is Ten of Cups energy, and I feel like that's going to transition throughout the whole um, dynamic of your guys's relationship. Ten of Cups, new beginnings. 
All right, so I'm gonna pull to see <clears throat> what this person is like. what this person is like. They've been through a lot of sad endings, okay? With the Knight of Wands energy, um, you know, even the Queen of Swords. So if this person was a player, if they were an Ice Queen, all right, this is being transformed. Um, I feel like, what is this person like? I do feel like they've maybe had a, a beat to their ego, um, but I do feel like they've um, risen back up in confidence. All right, especially when you guys come together. The Queen of Swords energy tells me this person is a success. They say what's on their mind. They don't lie. All right, but I feel with the Moon card coming out, you might not get a lot out of them when you guys first meet, especially because of what I feel they've gone through. Okay, so I feel like they're going to be um, not somebody who's um, super emotionally um, opening up to you in the beginning, but I do feel like when they do open up to you, it's going to be honest communication. Um, let me just see what the challenges would be. Yep, there it is. The wounded warrior. Mm -hmm. So the challenges. Here we have the two of pentacles again. All right, so maybe um, that is going to be back and forth, but here's what I'm seeing now. It's because this person doesn't know how to open up, all right? And I feel like you almost might mistake that for their lack of interest in you, um, but it's not It's not interest. It's because they're coming through as wounded, all right? Um, just because they have had a tower moment, um, they're still going to be going, I feel, through a transformation when you meet them. So it's not like you're going to have to f heal or fix anything that's broken. I feel like this person, if anything, is going to pull their energy back. All right, they might be a little in and out. All right, but I know that this is going to be something that's set, okay, based off of this energy of the relationship. So in the beginning, it might be a little fuzzy. In the beginning, it might be um, feel a little complicated. You might feel a little conflicted. This person might feel a little conflicted. Um, but just know that it's not that they don't um, cherish you. It's not, their, it's not that they're not attracted to you. It's because they're, they've been hurt, all right? They've gone through, um, I don't feel like it's just been one thing. I feel like it's a lot of things. So the favorable. favorable aspects you guys are going to build together the queen of um, pentacles energy you guys have all the potential to be a success team right here in this connection and with the page of wands this is inspiration so um, i don't feel like you know if you guys um, go in and out i feel like it's there, it's going to be a renewed sense of um, inspiration or passion every time you guys come back together all right so i feel like when the energy is in and out i feel like you guys are going to pick right back up and then you're going to essentially eventually essentially you're going to get to this point where you guys just keep moving forward all right so um there might be a little in and out energy but i don't feel like it's player vibe it's not using it's somebody's just they, they put their wall up and they they go within and i feel like that's energy that's being purged from them all right as they get to know you better and better and better is kind of how I'm feeling with this energy. So um, Queen of Pentacles coming through mutual energy. I feel you guys are going to be ultimately a, a very good success team. All right. You guys are going to have money, stability, passion, inspiration, joy. So your advice. Yeah, your advice. You guys are going to get through the um, trickier uh, points in this um, situation. This is telling me that the burdens, um, the, the stagnation, all this negative energy is going to be put to rest. Okay, you have 10 and then it comes back through with the love, all right? The love that you guys have tried to give each other, that you're going to be trying to give each other. This, the, stagnant, the stagnant energy, the wounded warrior energy, 
the conflicted energy that's all going to be put to rest but this person's going to have to clear it on their own it's not something you're going to be able to speed up but just know that it is going to be put to rest this is coming from your spirit guides your angels you guys this is um this is an opportunity for both of you all right and with this queen of wands energy i just feel that there is um, a confirmation here on the, the attraction because I feel like somebody might take it personal. You might be like, um, this person's not attracted to me. Why don't they like me? There's very much mutual attraction here. Um, so Sagittarius, I kind of feel like that's coming on your end. Don't take it personal because it has nothing to do with you. All right. This person has, uh, they have purging they need to do, um, of old energy. Um, and I don't even feel like you see it all. You don't know the extent of this person's wounds, but this is something they're clearing, um, independent of you. You don't need to help them, but it's smart that they're doing it like that. Um, so that when you guys come together, it can move forward and be that 10 of cups energy throughout the remainder of your guys's, um, situation. So I'm going to pull some initials, um, and this is more for the person coming in. All right, and just keep in mind if you've already met somebody and you feel like this is already happening, this is a confirmation for you, okay? Let's get two more. All right. You guys have C, P, J, X, E, and H coming out. All right, Sagittarius, you guys, if you're experiencing this, I do hope that you'll comment and let me know who's going through this. I love you guys. Be patient. Hang in there.